everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you all with me today. So I just wanted to hop on here and show you guys that everybody who glue books starts out as a beginner at some point, right? Like if you've never done it before, you're a beginner. Um, as you do it more, things become easier. And also I wanted to show you that it's okay if things aren't perfect. And I know that sounds funny coming from me because I am a bit of a perfectionist at times. Stop laughing, yes I know. Okay, so I wanted to show you this. I found this composition notebook um, in a tote. <laughs> it is a glue book that I started and never finished a long time ago. So I did not glue any pages together. I did not add any washi tape. I was just strictly adding some images to my paper. So when I took this out, I was kind of laughing and I don't mean to laugh to make fun, but I was laughing at myself because I have come a long way. And that's why I wanted to show you this. So I decided to give my cover some life because it was blank, I had not decorated the cover. So what I did here is I added in the background just some pieces of mm, like, let me show you here. I have this box, it used to have gloves in it. And when I see texture in a magazine or bright colors, I rip them out and use them for things like this, for the backgrounds. I also use them for like ATCs and iCADs but that's not what this video is about. So anyways, I added some background images and some magazine cutouts that I've had for like ever and have never used. So I added those, like I've had this cutout lobster for like a long time and this flower, just stuff I've had. And then after I added the background pieces, then the images that I've had for a long time, then I came through and added a bunch of stickers that you guys have sent me. Um, some of these were like Dollar Tree stickers and then I fussy cut around them. And then I added some rub-on transfers and this dice was a stamp that I cut. Um, I stamped onto paper and then cut it out. So just lots of stickers, lots of words from magazines and stickers from you guys and that kind of thing. Then I added a strip of pug washi tape down the side and then I used Mod Podge Matte. And it's Mod Podge, not Modja Podja. Oh my gosh, drives me nuts when people say that. Anyways. And I use that and then I just um, put that over the top. And so now all my stickers that were shiny are not shiny anymore. So anyways, yeah, I decorated my cover. Okay, and then I added this trim from the Dollar Tree. And then this is a gel print um, that Melody made, made for me and she sent me. And so anyways, this is what I wanted to show you. I've already kind of played in this book a little bit, so some things have been fixed, but I wanted to show you what I had done. So I've been going through and adding some washi tape around the edges because what I had done in this glue book is I wanted to add all my full-size images that I loved. And so I had cut them a little bit smaller than the page and then rounded the edges. And I did this throughout. And I don't, I want to say I don't know what glue stick I was using, but I know it was probably Elmer's. But look at this. This is what I wanted to show you. Almost all of these pages are not fully glued down. And a lot of them have, I don't know what I was thinking here, <laughs> but you can see here, like, look at this. This is all coming up. So the glue stick I had used was not very good. And my images are now coming up. And I would never now cut this to leave like a border around. I don't know why I did that. That was just a personal choice at the time. And it's just a personal choice now. If this is what you like, that's what you like. Who cares what I like, right? So what I'm doing is, oh, I had this. I was thinking about adding it right here. Um, is I'm going through and I'm just adding some washi down the spine and gluing down all these corners and just kind of you can see here like things are a little bit wrinkly and that's okay this is this is what i wanted to show you so like here i went through a magazine my um 
Mantra Wellness Magazine, and I just cut out some strips, and I just added those here because there was nothing there. And this was like really ugly, the background, so I just added this bright pink ice cream thing here. And so I just wanted to show you that even if you've abandoned a book, if you come back to it, you can still have fun and add more things to it. But it's, it's interesting to see because I, I know why I put this book down. I wasn't feeling it. And I just like my composition wasn't there. And that's fine. You know, like I was learning and like this, this is super wrinkly. Look at all that. And I don't even care. Like, honestly, it kind of feels cool when it's wrinkly. I like the texture of it and you know, whatever. So I'm just going to go through here and continue working in this glue book for a while. And I've never completed a composition notebook where I have not glued pages together. Normally I take two pages and I glue them together. Um, so this will be interesting. And I have a lot of great full size images like these. I knew I didn't want to alter these because I just really liked them. And that's kind of the point of glue booking. Aside from being fun, aside from being relaxing, um, and you know, fueling your creativity, but you put images down that you like and you enjoy. And I just thought these were awesome images. This is beautiful. I didn't want to alter it in any way. So I'm just going to leave these as is. And I'm going to add, well, first of all, I'm going to go back through and glue this back down because it's all coming up. And then I'm going to add washi down the middle and around the edges probably just to... Um, hide the border. I don't like this border at all. So I have a ton of washi. I actually think it'll be really fun and relaxing for me to just go through and kind of washi all the stuff. Is it necessary? Absolutely not. I'm doing it for decorative pur purposes and because I think it's fun. Like this one, I might add a quote or something. Honestly, this would be great for like an art journaler because this would be really fun to like write a quote or something in her hair. But anyways, yeah, and then I had this one, like, how could you not use this image? So it's all wrinkly and stuff. So I just wanted to show you, and this is no slam against the glue stick. I just want to, it just popped in my head that I said I'd probably used Elmer's. It probably wasn't the glue stick that was the problem. It was error on my part because I just didn't add enough glue and so I'll just go back through and fix it. It's not that big of a deal. And so, you know, I've done some little things. It's kind of fun to look back and kind of see where I was going with things. Uh, and so I've just had a really good time just kind of playing in here, just kind of adding a few more things. And the main reason why I want to go back through and glue all these corners down is because every time I go to flip a page, like my finger goes under. I mean, look at this. I was not gluing correctly. So, yeah, I just wanted to come on here and show you that, you know, we all start somewhere um, and it's okay for your stuff to not be perfect. It's still fun. It still looks good. You can always add more to it. I had this sticker um, I cut off. It was the end of like a balloon sticker for my brother-in-law. I made him a birthday card and I just stuck it in here because I don't know. I mean, I was just going to go in the garbage anyways. So I'm like here, I'll just add some washi down here and it just kind of helps the paper stay. It, um, I really hate that I put emotional here. Well, I had emotional here first. I specifically remember putting this down and I put this little guy there and then I was like, uh, I don't like that. So I think I'm going to add another word like um, emotional like exercise or I don't know, something. I'll add more words here. And, you know, like I added this kid for no rhyme or reason. It's just fun to go back. I mean, look at this. See, I'm picking up. <laughs> so anyways, I just wanted to come on here just to show you guys real quick that, look, we all start somewhere. Even if um, these were some rookie mistakes. I'm fine with going back through and fixing them. And I just want you guys all to know that glue books are for fun, for relaxation, for creativity. There's lots of different styles, themes, techniques. There's no wrong way to glue book. There's no right way to glue book. It is however you want it to be. And I, that's really important that you guys know that. And 
I don't want you to put a lot of pressure on yourself to make some masterpiece that you feel like needs to be done. You know, it doesn't have to be that way. If you want it to be that way, that's fine. Like I have a time and a place for my different stuff too. Like, you know, sometimes I like making, you know, beautiful things with, you know, papers and stickers and, you know, making sure that things look even and nice. And then sometimes I just want to sit down with a good movie or a good show, my glue stick and a magazine and just glue down some images that I think are fun and who cares how they look. And honestly, sometimes like the more you add, like, you know, I could flip through this book probably all year and keep adding more and more and more and more to it. So I'm just excited to play in this. I'm going to take it on my vacation. I leave tomorrow. And wow, this whole, oh, <laughs> I was going to say, wow, this whole page is not glued down. Oh, and then this one, oh, you guys, this one is so wrinkly. So what I did is I went into that box that I just showed you a little bit ago, and I just took out these solid color, like, and you know, this is food, but, and I just kind of added some texture and some color around here to not make the wrinkles so obvious. But like I said, I honestly don't care in a book like this. It's just for fun. I'm going to definitely add something along here, probably to hide all, you know, like the prices or like a word to go across these to hide the prices like this, like, like this. I'll just go, you know, like that. Obviously I'll choose a fatter word, but you know, something like that. And then I can add decorative paper or washi, um, along the edges there. And yeah, I just, I'm really excited to work in here. I think I might add some stickers as well. I have so many stickers because I'm a bit of a sticker whore and I collect them all the time <laughs> and I use them, but not, not as fast as I probably should. And I think, you know, adding some stickers in here might be kind of fun because we get all those fun stickers for a reason. There's no reason for them to just be sitting there. You guys send me amazing stickers. And that's what was so fun about um, decorating the cover is I used a ton of stickers that you guys have sent me. So that was really fun. All right, guys, I just, like I said, I just wanted to come on here and show you that I had this old glue book that I had abandoned years ago. Ooh, this is coming up too. We'll have to glue that down. And um, yeah, I'm just fixing it and I'm having fun with it and I'm just playing in it. And I, I just want you guys to know that it can be fun and not to put pressure on yourself and you can use something as cheap as a composition notebook to just glue stuff down. All right. All right, guys. I hope you have a fabulous day and a really great week. I will try to film while I'm at the beach. I don't know how well the Wi-Fi will be. Sometimes it depends. And I'm there to spend time with my parents and my family. Uh, and it is Jackson's birthday week. His birthday is this weekend. Anywho, I digress. Um, but I will try and post at least in my Facebook group and on my community tab and check in with you guys and see how you're doing and all that kind of stuff. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for listening to me babble about my old nasty glue book that I'm giving a new life. And I hope you guys all have a fabulous day. Until next time. Bye.